listening to my post about the rapture and the tribulation of these days. I wanted to share that there was hail on Friday. There's never been really anything like that around this area. I believe we have entered into the final, last moments of this period. And there are scriptural, there's revelation in scripture that have given me more reason to believe about the pregnant woman. And I didn't know what that meant because I was not, I was a born again Christian early into like 2011. But I kept having a dream about this pregnant woman. Well, it just goes back to the Revelation 12 sign about the woman in travail. And I just found a audio video, uh, and I'm going to put it in the description box. For those who are following the signs of the return of the Lord, we are entering into the last moments of what I truly, I strongly believe that we are at the tipping point. And I've been listening to Pastor J.D. for almost eight years. I listen to a lot of pro prophecy teachers, so I'm reporting on it because um, this dream I had was about crawling up the steps, barely making it, and barely making it to heaven. And I I know a lot of naysayers, and they're going to be going through tribulation. And when the Lord showed me the dream of New Jerusalem about what I was going through during that time, um, I was fleeing domestic violence. And I'm Jewish um, by birth, okay? So, for me to come to the realization of the return of the Lord, that to me sounded pretty foreign, and not so much that my dad had predicted that there would be some events that we should watch before. And this is, of course, when my dad was alive. Well, I didn't have these dreams back then. I didn't have these experiences I hadn't been through or tornado or divorce. I was pretty young and I didn't have any bad, bad experiences to know of. But what the devil's people do is they reveal their and they reveal what they're going to do. Agenda 2030, back in 2010 when I was watching Glenn Beck, I knew that this was not far off the mark, okay? But they're introducing the mark of the beast now, okay? And they've been introducing the mask order, and there's a lot of things that the globalists are doing to prepare for Agenda 2030. And they're not hiding it, okay? Uh, the UN is in the, uh, what do they, what they call the Council of 300? All these things that are taking place are designed for the return and Antichrist will most likely be in the UN or somewhere in those uh, halls where they entertain the Antichrist. They're going to call them aliens. They're going to be demonic fallen angels. And September 18th is, we're entering into September 18th to 28th. And there's a couple of big events happening right now in Israel with the airstrikes that are occurring right now. And that's Damascus will be a ruinous heap in seven, Isaiah 17.1. What is God's will? God's will is for you to be saved from this wretched earth. It is, we are sin, so we don't have to like already prove that we already need a savior. And I hear a lot of Christians do this to other Christians, that they're making fun of people for believing in a rapture. You know, the whole point of having a Savior is to be saved from something. What are we being saved from? Not just ourselves. We're, we're being saved, literally, from this world. This world is a decrepit world. If you knew what my friend told me, he's a Navy SEAL, and he told me about how they found these men raping newborns in Colombia. I want you to know that this world is so freaking cruel. There's so much cruelty. There's stealing. There's thievery. And if you don't repent for your sins, if you, if you steal off your neighbor or steal off of somebody, 
or take advantage of someone and you don't repent, you're not saved. The same applies in adultery, adultery and fornication and sexual sin. One of the worst sins is to commit adultery and do it over and over again. And because people are on social media, they get away with it. They think they're hiding their, you know, sex, sex capades, okay? When you commit adultery with your, with someone else other than your husband or wife, and that's what the Lord said to you. When we, when we come to know Christ, we come to know what righteousness is. What it is to walk in His righteousness, to walk and to be clothed in His righteousness. God's will is not for you to be a divorced, broken down woman because your husband is a cheater. Or, or a broken down man because you are beat up because of your wife's indiscretions. That is not God's will. And all these things that have happened to some of you who have suffered, who suffered unnecessarily. See, the Lord knows about the persecuted church. The persecuted church has been being persecuted and persecuted. And when Christians persecute one another, it is no good. So my prayer is that you come to know the saving grace and mercy of Jesus Christ because all those sins can be now forgiven because of what Jesus did on the cross. Because he died on that cross and he didn't die in vain. Not for showmanship. He died on that cross so that you could be saved from the world that is you're entering into. And you could be saved right now. So just ask that just ask Jesus into your heart and say that simple sinner's prayer and you're saved. Amen. Lastly, I just want to tell you that you are saved and when you get saved, you go get you have to talk to a pastor about getting washed in the um, with the baptism and, and know that there's a lot more to than just being praying and getting saved but being baptized and my, my hope and prayer is that what you get from this is that we are real people with real lives and we don't want to get caught up in this any phony anything read the scriptures and study because you know the rapture could happen any moment I'm looking at certain things and I can tell you it could happen right now no matter who scoffs at it no matter who jokes about this the thing is is that the devil's minions are laying out their plans and their plans for you and your children is not salvation it's not a heavenly kingdom that God has provided you God has a gift waiting for you some of you are foolish enough to ignore this message some of you will be foolish enough to skip over this video. I pray that you're not that foolish. I pray that you study the word of God and be ready for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord.